Guys, welcome back to the Almost Friday pod. Thank Woo! you. Whoa, Emily. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, before we jump into the episode, we want to say that today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. You guys know how Liam and I always talk about our beach pods, right, Liam? Well, anyway, with Manscaped, they'll help you shave all that disgusting fucking hair off your body, you disgusting monster. No one wants to look at you. So, here's how you get it. Go to manscaped.com and use code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y, to get 20% off plus free shipping. So again, that's 20% off with free shipping if you use the code FRIDAY at manscaped.com. Let's get into the episode. Let's check what my internal body temperature is. 394 Fahrenheit. I don't even know enough to know if that's too high or not. I think it's too high. 98 would be normal. Okay. So I'm about to burst. All right, let's get it started. <laughs> I got scared. You got nervous I to got, open it up? I got nervous. Well, now I'm kind of nervous. Maybe if the cameras weren't on. Can we get rid of the cameras yeah, just for this episode? Yeah. <sighs> anyway. Man, welcome. Oh, see, you threw it to me, and I felt like throwing up all over the place. Yeah. Emily, can you start it off? Yeah, can you do it? No one wants me to start it off, but I'll do it We anyway. do, more than ever. Welcome back to the pod, guys. See? So shrill. Well, if I did it more enthusiastic, then it would be cringe, so. I'm glad I wasn't wearing the headphones. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, uh. All right, hit me. Uh, Hit me. What's up? What's the news? Hit me. What's up? You with, always got something cooking. What's up with um? Isn't it weird? Yeah, hit that, me. Uh, you know, some teachers will end up marrying one of their students after their student graduates. Nope, that's not weird to you. Nope, that's I'm going to marry one of my teachers as soon as I make enough money to fly her out. <laughs> what's her name? Uh, her. Well, it was. Oh. Yeah. It's one of those situations. Okay. He, she, you'll you'll meet him. Mm. Nice fella. Gotcha. Go on. Loud and clear. Go on. Um, what else? What else was? Oh, I, that was one of my topics. That that was that was the topic of mine. There was a hard stop on that. I'm cutting that you saying that that was a topic of yours. Why? Why? Just bring it up and don't say it was a topic. Shut up! You don't know it's good. Shut up. You are. You'll cut what we tell you. You are a fascist. Um, you're genuinely a fascist. Uh, Will, I like your outfit today. Thanks. All black. See, see. All black. I'm in my uh, disco. This is a fab outfit. I don't have nothing for you. You gotta. All right. Well, that was all right. That's. Okay. I'm playing the role of Emily this episode. Oh, uh, you guys. No, no, I got you're playing time. the. You're playing the role of Will. Oh, Jesus. I got my topics. Okay, go. Let's Teachers go. that marry students once they graduate. That's topic one. Mm-hmm. Topic two. Uh, do Do you know any guys that have ever jacked off while driving? And have you ever jacked off while dra- driving? No. Cool. I got a couple of my buddies have. Why? Horny. Now, okay. Like a short drive, a long drive. Couldn't tell you. Just something I thought was uh, of note. That's, I feel like that's, I feel like you should be on a list for doing that. Like, I feel like you should be a sex offender. Why? If nobody's on the road? It just feels inappropriate. I, to me, it it it's, almost no, feels no. like jerking off on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it does. No. It I understand you. Where are you going to, like, put it? Um, on your done. belly and you rub it in as, as much as you can. Do you watch this podcast in your mouth? Ew. We're all guys. Jack. No, in in all seriousness, you like, put it into thinking? your eyes and you blink like in a an ton empty and it cup until away. you're di- like you go like this, pull over, and you hope you hope five <laughs> percent of it lands in the back oh. on your uvula. Ew. No, yeah. I, I'm dead serious. Like, would you put it in a cup and then toss it out the like? What would I put it in a cup? How, how many times do we need to say it to you over and over again? I'd swallow some it, of so it's, it's going to be under your fingernails. Some of it's going to be in your belly button. Some's going to be in your nose. Some of it is going to make it past your nose into your brainstem. 
And your brain gets stronger, stem cells. And if you swallow it, your babies don't die. So you're technically not even giving it. And sometimes guys can get pregnant from swallowing their own loads. That is true. Something I read on Game Informer. Have you ever... Ugh, I don't even want to know. Have I ever answer. what? I don't want to know the answer anymore, so I was gonna but I was gonna ask if you've ever gotten Roadhead. No. Because no. that was the follow up question. No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Roadhead is another one of those that just Would you if you're if you were on like a road trip with your girl and you no. be like, yo, let's try something fun. I'd say get out. I'd you wouldn't? Get out. I'd say whore, get out of the car. Wait, why not? <laughs> I would. Yeah, same. Wait, why why? Why not? Uh cause I need the if I'm if my penis is coming out of my pants, I need to be in complete darkness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's... what if it was what if it was an at night road trip? No, no, I wouldn't want like I'm fucking no. There's no thrill there for me. There's nothing enjoyable about that. You don't think it's fun or funny? No, I think it's funny, but it's fun. Not if it's happening to me. Coming while driving, that's pretty funny. That's funny. Maybe that's why your boys do it so much. No, it's just this one guy. <laughs> he oh, I, I don't know if he does. Now, does he drive for work? No. Uh, he told me he did this one time, and when he brought it up, he brought it up in a way that he clearly thought I was going to say, yeah, 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 me too, and I didn't. <laughs> um, but I will say, wait, have you ever given road done? I don't want to know. I, um, uh, I've, I'm sorry for asking that. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't want to ask that question. Do you know in limos when they have the – little curtain you can push when you're talking business you don't want the driver to hear <laughs> let me guess you want to push that curtain right now <laughs> wow ow ow that I just w- took five years off my life i will say um one time i was up this was in high school like after i got my a year or so after i got my license probably i was on a little bit of a bender Hadn't slept in about two days-ish. And I'm driving down to Cape Cod to meet my family. Mm -hmm. And I'm driving early in the morning, so I was supposed to be there already. But I stayed up all night having fun. And as I'm driving, it was one of the scariest things of my life because I was falling asleep at the wheel and there was nothing I could do. I kept smacking myself, pouring water on myself. What you do is you pull over and you fucking... I didn't want to, though. I was like, I'm going to get there. I've been in that position... I've, it was, it's the worst feeling ever. It's, it's really fucking scary because you're like, I'm good. And then it's just like, you're like, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. I was just unconscious. And then I'm going over uh, the Bourne Bridge. Uh, shout out if you know the Bourne Bridge, Great Bridge. And how I, did I know he was going to shout out the fucking bridge? Because <laughs> I did it. I don't know. Yeah, that's just some East Coast trash. Yeah. But as I'm going over the bridge, I was so tired. I was so nervous. I was going to fall asleep on the bridge and drive off of it that I got an erection. And that, <laughs> my erection kept me awake. It was my body's last ditch effort, effort to keep me alive. It was insane. Did you just pull, pull on it? or it just? I just <laughs> grabbed it and I stayed awake. I kept it alive. I didn't do nothing. I wasn't stroking. Yeah, you, ju- yeah, you just kept your hand on the stick shift just in case. <laughs> um, that reminds me, give Rusty a ring. He's got a good story for you. Ooh. Do you already know it? My favorite. I do. Because it happened in Talladega. Does he know I'm going to give him get him on the horn? No. <laughs> I probably should. Not kidding. I may throw up. Can I FaceTime? Yeah. I don't care. He's probably in fucking class. He said, I'm in summer school. What's up? Say you're on the pod. He'll answer. Wait, He'll wait. step out. No, he's in summer school. Though. Oh, I th- isn't he in summer school in Amsterdam? I know he's going to Europe. He basically, he had a nightmare Uber. I want him to tell the story because he knows all the details, but we all got to Talladega. We had to fly into Atlanta, drive two hours to Talladega, and his flight got delayed. So we had a driver service that knew they were driving us two hours. He had to call an Uber and whenever you call an Uber, they don't know where they're going. So this guy thinks he's doing a 20-minute ride, and he gets a two-hour drive to Talladega at 1 a.m. And Rusty was like, apparently the guy was freaking out the whole time. Like, I can't do this. I can't do this. And he was like, well, you got to cancel it then because I'm not canceling it. 
and so he's driving and like Rusty's falling asleep in the back and apparently the guy's like, hey man, it's really hard to stay awake when you keep falling asleep. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Okay. And the guy was like splashing water in his face. I guess he pulled over to like smoke a cigarette halfway through and just like kept terrorizing Rusty the entire time and like yelling at him and freaking out. And when they couldn't find the entrance to Talladega, he like blew a gasket. Really? Yeah. That's it's that's the probably the biggest nightmare Uber story I've heard. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that's fucked. I, would, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Anyways, I got other topics. Martha Stewart. Oh yeah, dude, she did a nudie spread. No, she wasn't naked. Well, I I did my little Photoshop trick on it. Mm. I got a bunch of magazines and I cut, I printed off her pictures. I cut her head out and put them on there. I cut. <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> there comes the Crentice eyes. <laughs> Watch out, I would. Whoa. Who made me say that? I'm so serious about that. Who made me say that? What happened? Can we just do characters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a lot today. I'm so upset for everyone who's going to be listening to the podcast for the first time this episode. I'm, why? This episode's banging. I feel so bad. No, this is a bad episode, and I'll tell you why. No, I we're, feel we're on fire. No, I feel so sick, and I've been. I feel like I've been puke the last 20 minutes. That's all right. You can puke in here. And it's so hot in this room. No, puke it's not. It's, is it really not? You're sick because it's fuck. I, I'm Mr. I, it's hot. And it's not. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I f I feel like I'm burning up. Oh yeah, pal. Am I really? Yeah, yeah. That's not good. You. I mean, I feel like that has to do with the fact that you haven't eaten and you ate. So do you want to like go pop some food in your mouth? I don't know why I just said it like that. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep. Going. I can make it through. I just got to do my characters. Okay, do your characters. All right, start. I am. I'm excited. Characters are going to be fun today. Wait, can I pitch you a character that I don't know how to act out? Yes. Okay, I when like we it. Did, sorry. When we did that last <laughs> episode, people got so mad in the comments. Like, Will, Will ruined your character, Liam. And Which it was one? like, no. It was, I tend to do that. No, it was you giving him a character, but people thought that you were trying to do the character, and then Will took over. About Will be, uh, breaking up with the ex girlfriend. I'm whenever you give me a character, I always ruin it. So don't ever do that again. You don't ruin it. You make it good. I ruin it, and then I go home and I hurt myself. How? I there's a giant hole in my wall that keeps getting bigger because I run into it like a ram, and I butt my head into it until there's blood pouring everywhere, mm -hmm. and I look like Jesus in the Passion of the Christ when he puts the crown on. I got blood all dripping down all over me. Turn me on a little bit thinking about you. As Here's my character. Be quiet. I don't know how to act this out, but I like the idea that someone uh, on an airplane has a heart attack and they're like, oh, we, we need a doctor. We need a doctor. And a, a guy comes up and he's like, I'm a horse doctor. And he uh, pulls out a shotgun and he sh shoots him in the head. <laughs> So many of your characters take place on planes, and someone needs the help. Actually, no, I've done one. And no, you've, you've done, one. done one, and I've done one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you've done tw two. Yeah, it was me. I projected. That was that's all me. Um, I like that. Can't help you have any further than that. Uh, will you, will you, exp will you just do? Ooh. My sister's getting married this weekend, and I'm going to be so sick at the wedding. That's in three days, and I've been taking. I don't know how I'm getting sick because I've been taking vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc every day for the last two and a half weeks. I've been sick for the past three weeks, but no one cares, so it's fine. That you, is correct. Did you take that stuff this morning on an empty stomach? Yeah. That's, oh, that's why you feel like that's shit. That's why you feel like shit, yeah. I, I've done that. Taking a ton of vitamins on an empty stomach, you feel so nauseous and fucking hot. It's exactly what you're feeling right now. I noticed you. I just diagnosed you. Interesting. Maybe maybe I'll have a nanner in the morning next time. You got it. That's how I started. A my banana. Day. Yeah. 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 Honestly, just my time with you guys has healed me. That's very nice. Do your character. Uh, okay. Um. So. 
Uh, did I have a name for this? Hold on, sorry. I can give you one. Uh, yeah, give me one, give me one, give me one. Clint Briggsley. I'm Clint Briggsley. Yep. And I came up with the name. Will came up with the name. I'm your friend. I got really drunk last night, and I'm just going to hang out with you. Dude, you were wasted last night, sicko. Yeah. Did I? I was, I was calling people. I didn't leave you a voicemail, did I? I saw a missed call from you. I don't just delete it. You don't. You shouldn't listen to it. Just delete it. Okay. No, I don't. <clears throat> just you can just delete that. Don't. me at the end? No. No, I don't think so. What, uh... What? Did you leave that voicemail for everyone? Mm. You've been getting a lot of calls about that. Mm. You've been getting a lot of very concerned text messages. Yeah. About the itsy bitsy spider. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What were you drinking? You know, it's like my own poop and piss and shit. Did you accidentally drink one of the drinks you made for one of the girls? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Just delete it if you could. I'm, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna save that for the rest of my life, probably. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Were you <clears throat> watching? something with what why why that one i'm not totally sure where were you when you called me it was dead silent <sighs> basement of <My> church <laughs> <laughs> could you hear the smacking noises during yeah. that yeah. <laughs> and me weeping i didn't know what the smacking was though I was hitting myself. Your, yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was hitting one of those fake hands we have. What'd you think? <laughs> that was awesome. Speaking of that, can you explain what the fuck is behind the couch, or is that for a character? Oh yeah, that was for. Uh, that sucked. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 maybe I'll do it later. Crumple this up. Yeah. Just as any, any, anyway. Yes. All right. This is my character. Um... Phobos Chundle. Ooh, that's a good one. Just came up with it. All right. Uh, we are finishing our... We just sat down at a Chinese restaurant and we're opening our fortune cookies. Okay. <clears throat> What's your say? This will be a very prosperous year. Hey, congratulations, buddy. Yeah. What's your say? <laughs> Uh, mine says, hi, this is Xi Ping. They are treating us horribly. The factory condition, please call the UN. I've gotten this one like three times. So, these fortune cookies suck. It's a guy. You've gotten that more than once? Are you going to eat it or do you just take the fortune out? I can have the cracker. I was going to have it, but... I'm gonna eat it. I would. I would. I would have liked to have had it. Give me your fortune. Mine sucked. I want that one to be mine. Thanks. That was it. <laughs> That's really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was okay. We're having fun. 
I feel like, Liam, you didn't really... Shut up, bitch. <laughs> now it's now, now it's now it's a clip. <sighs> what? I didn't what? You didn't really bring that one to life? I didn't know where it, I yeah, I didn't know. That was really kind of a one a one liner. Yeah, it was yeah. It was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. So All right, I got should it. we should we talk about your uh your grain silo character? Nope. Okay. Should we dive into that? That fiasco. Someone messaged us a character that I thought was really good, but it was funny because they were like, in order to act it out, you need to pee your pants. And it was like, so true. <laughs> this guy just wants to see you piss yourself. Yeah, this guy's got a piss Yeah, but fetish. I'm not. He's got I'm a not going to do the fuck, fucking character. But basically, it was like. Someone, He's like, here, Emily, you send it to me. We'll practice. Because I want you to <laughs> nail it in front of the guys. <laughs> it was basically like a guy who pees, their pa- pees his pants, but. And doesn't want anyone to know that he peed his pants, but he dare so he dares everyone around him to make him pee his pants so that he like convinces everyone that it's a dare. But he's already got piss on his pants. Yeah, but then he like is dared to pee his pants, so he pees himself. Dude, I have this hilarious character you guys do where you fart into a cake and then you uh, mail it to me and I eat it <laughs> on FaceTime in front of you. It'd be so funny. Emily, you gotta do it. Emily, you gotta. That's you my impression. That's my impression of me. the Emily White Knights in the comments. <laughs> someone messaged me asking me to do this character where they like ship me their smelly socks and then I sniff them on camera. I think it would be the other way around. Yeah, I think it would be. But who knows? What do I know? I wonder if anyone would buy my socks. Okay, I, yeah, all right. I bet you people would. Would you? Would you judge me if I sold my socks? No. I would if there was a market Well, for it. I might. I mean, I wouldn't do it to you. When you weren't around, I'd say, look at that fucking dirty little fucking poor slut. <laughs> socks for money. That's embarrassing. Would you sell your socks for money? Yeah. I wouldn't. There's no market for it, though. There's no interest. No, there's no market. Someone would want to buy your socks. What if you, you had sold $20,000 in socks? And you came over to my house one day and you opened the closet and they were all in there. <laughs> do you think you could? This we could is all for you. Do you think we we could ever work together? Yeah, I'd get in there. I'd say, "What do you want to fuck?" I'd say, my, "I really want you to just." Can I just watch you roll around in them like it's a big pile of leaves? And then I keep I'm rolling around like it's a big pile of leaves, and I keep catching you jacking off. <laughs> Try to do it really, really quick. I'm like, "Stop, knock it off." Be like, "I'm all. It's like that game of statue where when you can only <laughs> run when someone turns around. Yeah. All right, guys, taking a quick break from the episode. Summer's coming. What's your plan? You going to go to the beach looking like that, you disgusting Sasquatch? I know Liam isn't, and I know I'm not. So it's time to get ready for Hot Guy Summer. Go to manscaped.com for 20% off with free shipping with the code FRIDAY, F-R-I-D-A-Y. I love the Manscaped products. They keep you safe. You're not going to get any nicks down there. I use the Essential Lawn Mower 3.0, but I've heard the 4.0 is insane. Now there's a lot of different products though. We got the nose hair trimmers, you got the shears weed whacker. There's so many options. Go check them out and if you use that code Friday you get 20% off plus free shipping. But yeah, I use it. It's great. Keeping yourself well groomed, it's like making your bed. Just do it. You're going to feel better. Keep yourself clean. Hygiene is important. It affects you physically, it affects your mentals. You're just going to feel better. So I get 20% off plus free shipping with the code FRIDAY at manscaped.com. I'm supposed to say this, trim your chesticles with the besticles. Ouch, that hurt. But it's okay because we love Manscaped. One last time, that's 20% off plus free shipping if you use the code FRIDAY at manscaped.com. Go buy all their products if you want to support the pod. Every single one of them. Let's get back into the episode. All right, do your character. All right, I got another one. He's on a roll. These have names. Let me get the names. Wow, Liam's carrying today. I am. Uh, you basically just said, "Wow, you're really bad at your job today." Yeah, that was, no, mean. That was mean. No. No. Cut it out. I never say that about you. <laughs> okay. I'm Jason Krugus. Ooh. You are Casey Bunt. Yes. We are in sixth grade, hanging out at my house. It's a beautiful summer day. We're playing Marco Polo in my above ground pool that is right outside of my house. Okay. Right what's, what's your name again? Jesse? Uh, Jason Krugus. Jason. You're Casey, Casey. Bunt. All right. Krugus. And, and uh, you're Marco um, Polo. So your eyes are yeah. closed, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You say Marco. I say Polo. Because you're okay. looking for me, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Wait, wait. No, you, yeah, you. I say Polo, yeah. All right, get it going. Marco. Polo. Ah, I'm going to get you. I can hear you splashing around. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Hey, Jason. You can't. You have to say Marco. Can I? Can I open my eyes? No. Not until you get me. Polo. Marco. Do you want, maybe we go hang out at your house? Yeah. I, well, I'm about, I'm about to find you, I think. Marco. Polo. Are your parents... Uh, <clears throat> Marco. Polo. It's based on a true story. No, I just used to do a, used to be an old stand-up bit I had mm-hmm. about the differences between playing pool games and above-ground pools and in-ground pools. That is that a good one. Above-ground pools, you can hear people, you can hear domestic violence inside the house. Uh, I enjoyed that one a lot. It's a good time. It's a good, fun one. That That's what I call a five-star character. Thank you. Let's see what I got in my little bag of tricks. Emily's like, Emily's like, he better have a good one. Shut up. I didn't say a fucking word. All right. This is Emily Bender. I know you just want a reaction. And we're playing a game of telephone. It's just two people. Okay. Okay. So you start off with the phrase and I'm the telephone at the end. Um, he called me an ugly and said that I was stupid and uh, he said he that's the information I got out of that. <laughs> that is a good you. That is a very good you. I hate you so much. <laughs> you, do, you, do, you fabricate stories, man. It's something you do. Well, you're a gaslighter and a liar, so I don't give a yeah. fuck. Yeah, but... You are also a liar. Well, no, Emily's not a liar. It's just the way you process information is like yeah. I can see which, which, you know, structure the which structure of the sentence you're picking up on and which one you're leaving out and yeah. you're missing some nouns, you're missing some gerunds, elab word. And you know what? That's okay. It isn't. It ain't. And just to clarify, everyone, my last name is not Bender. That, what do you, that character wasn't you. Mm-hmm. That was about someone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her name's Bender. I got another one. Okay. Um, I do. Uh, uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, I was gonna make a comment on the last character. Uh, go on. I got one more after this. All right. I am. I'm Dennis Gravel. You're my son, Evan Gravel. Nice. And. You ask me how I met your mother. Okay. <clears throat> hey, um, Dennis. We live in that kind of household. Okay. Hey, Dennis. Hey, what's up? Can you come in my room? <coughs> <coughs> Can you come in my room? Yeah. What's Close up? Close the door. Okay. Sit down. Okay. I... I'm doing a school project, and I need to know how you met mom. I got to write a little story on it. Uh, let's see. Our sweet mother, Diane. Let's see. Um, you're 19. I was I was probably a year older than you. Okay, in college. So you were just you were just still cum in my balls at this point. Um, yeah, college. I want to say it was 1993. Yeah, 1993. 
we were at a frat party and you were you were still in my balls. You were cum. Okay, we were cum I cells. got that. Jesus Christ. And um, ah, oh, what was it? Yeah, yeah. She needed a beer pong partner, I think. So I volunteered, obviously. And this was uh, this was the nineties. So this was before like Tinder and all the stuff you guys use nowadays. Everyone your age now at this point in time was cum in other okay. people's balls. I got it. Um, so. And I hit every shot. I hit every, and you have to understand that even your older brothers at this point were still just cum in my nuts, like they were just cum that I hadn't even. They were cum. You were cum. <laughs> K- chill with that part. Just what else? And then she. So you met her playing beer pong. She was wearing a Rolling Stones T-shirt that she had cropped. She looked so good, and um, all right. Yeah, I hit every single shot. I was on fire. Uh what was it? Yeah, 1993. You were cum. Your brothers were cum. <laughs> Everyone you know was cum. I was 20? Your mother was 20, or your mother was 19. You were you were jizz in my nutsack. <laughs> your brother was cum in my balls, and your other brother was... How do we know I cum. wasn't... I weren't... I was not just eggs in her womb. You were, you were cum. I would hold the flashlight up to my testicles to let the light pass through, and we'd count the veins on my nuts, and sometimes I'd see you swim. You and mom? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'd hold the flashlight up to my, my scrotum and count the veins on my, on my nuts, and... Um, I just think it's still cool that... You know, after 20 years of marriage, you and mom still do that. Yeah, it's cool. She's a great gal. You know what's even crazy is, like, she used to be cum. Yeah. I was cum. She was cum from your balls, right? She was that's my... technically my brother, my sister. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I am so upset. Why? You didn't like that bit? I thought, I thought that was great. Oh fuck. <laughs> this All is right. balsamic hey. hollow tree. Oh, that's so fucking awesome. This is a character my my buddy was doing at our bachelor party. Wait, what's his name? Balsamic Hollow Tree. But okay. the guy the guy who came up with the character's name is Silvio. Okay. So uh basically we're giving I'm giving the best man speech at your wedding. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like you already know where it's going. Yeah, of course I do. All right, guys, you gotta settle that. Um I knew Liam, that the moment you met Sharon, you guys were right for each other. I knew it the moment I saw her tight little ass in that dress. And you could see the outline of her (laughs) (laughs) The moment... Oh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Seriously, though, uh, you you made a mistake letting her wear open-toed shoes around me. I'll tell you that. Those nice little sexy feet tip-tapping around my house. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I'm talking my fucking life in that manner. I knew she was the one man, and her voice, it would send chills down my lower back and into my balls. And Sharon, uh, no, I knew, I knew. I mean, you got, you got lucky, man. You got lucky. I can't believe you get to have that every night. Pound me, brother. 
Where's Where's get Sharon's the, parents? Get the fuck off stage. Where's Sharon's parents? Get the fuck. Hey, off. you got any more Sharons laying around? Because <laughs> this this horn dog's hungry. Nah, Sharon, you're a great lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was great, dude. <laughs> Can I go to the Sharon store and get a get a two for one Sharon? Yeah, that that solve all my problems. Sex. I want to sex with her. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Balsamic. Thanks. You. Oh, by the way, you're one of my best friends. Yep. Yep. Get down. And that stuff about me wanting to turn your wife inside out. Yeah. That was all jokes. Right. I hired a comedian to help me write all this junk. I don't even think it's that funny. Yeah, it's not. Sharon, did you like it? Okay, she don't, she, Sharon. She doesn't want to talk to you. She hasn't looked me in the eyes in years. I think you married a bad lady. I'm sorry. I think you married a whore. <laughs> I wish you well. <laughs> All right, Emily, we're going to have to frank... No, no, no. We're going to have to frank... You got to leave all of it. No, we're going to have to Frankenstein that character. Well, for the clip, for the clip. For the clip, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's funny because someone sent a DM to us, like, giving name suggestions for our characters, and one of them was Balsamic. As the first name? Yes. <laughs> That's a great... Wait, wait, was the last name Hollow Tree? No. Okay. That went crazy. I don't think so. I don't like to read the submissions. Oh, yes. Public apology to uh, Joshua Schwab. What's his name? Jonah Schwab, I think. Jonah Schwab. I don't think he I stole show. one of his characters on accident. Yeah. The dentist smelling, getting turned on by his patient's breath. The only way... Uh, so I apologize, Jonah. Is, you want, do you want to really say you're sorry? No. Pull your legs. Pull your pants off. But leave them around your ankles so you can't run that fast. <laughs> I'm not done. Are you going to bring... Wrap, wrap them around the back of your head to your pants so they're still on your ankles like this. And then I want you to poop a little bit and then suck the poop back up. <laughs> and then you'll truly be sorry. I thought you were going to say... <laughs> we're sneezing today, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Emily's been on her phone this entire episode. Yeah. We should... There no, should be I went a on my phone the second you started talking about I was calm. still chatting. I was still chatting. Mm -hmm. there, there's probably a scientific number of how long the episode's going versus how long Emily's on her phone. And from that data, we can extrapolate, write that word down, use that one, how good the episode's going to be. So if Emily's on her phone a ton, not really a good episode. No, that means If she's on her phone a little bit, not really a good episode. There's a gray area. It's a bell curve. Yeah. That's not true because if I'm Hi, on my can I help you? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Because if I'm on my phone, it's a good episode because then I'm not talking as much. And, you know. That's kind of a... That was a kamikaze. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't dump your insecurities on us, please. Right, but it worked. Please. It did work. Did I already tell you about comic canceling? Yes, you did. All right. Because I pay attention. We should get you a plaque. Oh, yeah. Maybe I have other topics. Oh, my God. Actually, I don't think I do. I just went on my phone to look up topics, and I have topics from, like, 2014 of when I wanted to be a YouTuber and make YouTube videos and what these topics should be for my YouTube videos. Give us one. Okay, wait. I have to go find it, back and find it. <laughs> <laughs> things I don't get. And there's a, an insane list of things I don't get. Why Braille is dots and not letters. You have to be joking. Why gay... Ch why guy Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to be joking, right? Why can't you feel... Why does it have to be... Like, why can't you feel... Like, why... Can you explain? Okay. Do you know how hard it would be to feel the difference between, like... The letter V and the letter W, or the letter A and the letter O. Yeah, but or do, the you, letter do you realize how R hard it is? And the letter P. Do you realize how hard it is to feel the difference between different amount of dots that are all next to each other? It's not because your fingers are very sensitive, and you can you, you, your bodies are very good at just automatically sensing all that information. But like if there's so many dots and they're all next to each other, space per each letter. 
I don't care about any of this. You know what's interesting? They had a they had a uh, I forget who it was. It was some like famous guy. This is a really good pitch for me. But it was this guy, and he was like, I wonder if blind people, if they feel a sphere their whole life, a sphere, and they feel a cube, and then they gain their ability to see, would they be able to tell the difference? Which one was the smooth one and which one was the sharp edge one? And they're not able to. Isn't that weird? You'd think that would be intuitive. So if I'm blind, if I'm born blind, and I feel a sphere, and I feel a cube, one is smooth, one is, has sharp edges. And then I gain my ability to see later in life. And without touching it, they set a sphere and a cube in front of me. And they said, which one was the smooth one? Which one was the sharp one? Blind people get it wrong. They don't know. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't, though. Well, it does, but like because oh, we've no. lived life with our sight. Yeah. That's isn't crazy. It, isn't, that so, isn't that insane? Yeah. You're crazy, though. I know. What's the next one? These are so these are so embarrassing. By the way, this is like literally 2014. Why do people say eat all, everything on your plate because people in Africa are starving? Because either way, that food isn't going to Africa. It's either going in the trash or in your belly. <laughs> Keep going. I want to hear the rest of that. Um. Why do you, whenever you hide during hide and go seek, you have to pee? Ooh, that is a really, really good question. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That always used to happen. You know what it is? It's probably flight or fight or flight. Like your body gets so excited. When you're a kid, there's so much there's so many stakes in that game. Your body needs to dump all the liquid. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're hiding from a man that wants to hold yeah. it down and fuck you. Yeah. And then you really gotta pee. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. What well, like what's the point of automatic soap dispensers if if the point is to not touch the dispenser because of the germs, you're literally about to wash your hands. Anyway. Cool. What's the next one? <laughs> minty. Like, why do you, when, after you chew minty gum, water, even like warm water feels cold? You have been an awesome YouTuber. All I'm seeing, <laughs> all I'm seeing right now is comments. "Quote unquote," we should start a podcast. My tummy, <laughs> I know, literally. My tummy's falling into my butt. Yeah. Why does sun lighten your hair but darken your skin? All right, we, I'm. I'm uh, oh, I have one, one last one, one last one. This better be, better be good. Why in drugstores do sick people have to walk all the way to the back to get their prescriptions, and then the cigarettes are in the front? I don't know. Yeah, I needed that. Needed that. How long have you had been building this topic list? Um, the Weeks. last time I was edited in literally like 2015. I felt like we had a strong start today and we're drowning. We're floundering. Oh. Fuck. You have to talk at your sister's wedding? Uh, yeah, I don't know what I have to say, but I have to. All of her husband's brothers are saying something and she was like well you know they they're gonna be saying something you guys gotta say something i have horrible horrible fear of public speaking which is a hilarious conundrum to have for my uh career it is it's kind yeah. of cruel we gotta get you to just in front of some live events and then yeah well would you no, have, need would you, you be to, able to i need you to play music and i just go fuck <laughs> ass shit fuck <laughs> ass shit and then i take the headphones off and i read the script if you go like this you seen king speech that's a little king speech reference mm-hmm. emily has no idea what i'm talking about she's on her phone uh, Pro- probably checking uh what kim kardashian's new post was yeah yeah so reductive yeah. to on women a, yeah i'm literally not even on my phone would you be able to do a live know. podcast show? No. I want to very well. Badly. We have to. Well, yeah, I'll do it, but I'm going to have to get hammered for it. Yeah, we'll do That's it at UCB. Fine. 125 folks. Oh. It's not that bad. If it was 10 people, I'd get hammered for it. 10 people's way weirder than a. Yeah, a yeah, lot. yeah. When I. The goat, Chaterana, I realized that some of the smaller shows are a little bit. Once you just get out there and you're like, oh, it's not that bad, it's way easier being in front of a fucking large group of people. I don't know what 
you think you're going to say that's going to change it? Because I've had this my whole life. I'm going to have to get hammered no matter how many people it is. You're not going to you're not going to fix me with just a few words. I know. But I just want you to try it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Try it out. I'm going to do it. We I want to um, What are you going to do, Emily? Everyone's going to be up there Everyone's going to be like staring at eye candy over here. No, nah, I'm kidding around, Emily. You're great. I just get nervous thinking about it. What? And there's nothing on there. Again. Whatever. What is it? What are you show me? Nothing, dude. Fuck. Do a character. Do another character puppet. Um, do guy, a guy who talks too close to the microphone. Clip that, Emily. Clip That's that. one more clip. One more look how time. E- look how easy we're making your job. Emily, when's the last time we all hung out outside of work? Um, Me and Emily hang out all the time. Yeah. We were together last night. Where were you? Yeah, where were you? She was watching me play my new game. Yeah. Talk about Zelda. But you wouldn't no. let me play. It was really fucking annoying. Ooh, good improv, him. That is, is good. Yes, yes, and, yes, and there was a uh, giant uh, shadow monster uh, <laughs> that was eating her head and ripping it off. Now you say yes, and. You ha- Is that like what you have to do? You have to say yes, and. Yes, that's improv, the first rule. Both yes, well. and you wouldn't kill the fucking monster. No, no, I don't like this direction. Do a different one. <laughs> Yes, and you ate no. the monster, and it no. Your belly. That's another character. Clip that. Look how easy your fucking job is. It's simple, you it's do. The hardest job ever. It is. It seems um, like a lot of work, and I'm glad I don't have to do it. We could do therapy couch. Yeah, let's. Do, I asked you to. Yeah. <laughs> I asked you to do it, and you didn't prepare. That's what uh, we call around here the master frequency. Yeah. I'm the only it's, one who has a prepared segment for therapy couch that is true i'm gonna have to think wait do you have one i do get over there get over there really yeah wait, what are you talking about oh this is gonna cringe taking another quick break this episode is also brought to you by bet mgm you guys know that we love bet mgm that's how we make all of our picks i've been winning a lot of money in the eastern conference finals western conference finals there's hockey on baseball's back there's so much to bet on. It just makes the games more interesting. And BetMGM, I mean, the way their apps laid out makes it so easy for you to place your bets. I would download the app if I were you. Use that code BEERS, B-E-E-R-S. And Emily, what does that give you? That gives you a risk, $1,000 risk-free on your first bet. That can't be real. It Guess is. Guess what? It is, bozo. And guess what? You got to make sure you do. You got to make sure that you're in a legal state and you got to make sure you're of a legal age. Just do your research, okay? You got to be 21 years or older. And lastly, guys, just remember be smart. It's fun, but be smart. If you have a gambling problem, there are resources out there. You can call a hotline, you can find help on a website, find communities. You're in good hands, okay? Just be safe, be smart, and have fun. Download the BetMGM app. Use code BEERS for a $1,000 risk free bet. Let's get back into the episode. I hate this so much. No, it actually feels really good. <clears throat> yeah, I feel powerful. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. Explain what therapy okay, couch there is. Okay, therapy couch, we go through stories that keep you up at night. Like, remember that one thing you did yeah. in third grade that you'll never stop thinking about? And yeah. you, w- you wake up, you can't go to sleep about it. Yeah. You think everyone else remembers it? Yeah. Well, guess what? They do remember it, and they think about it, and they still think you're a fucking freak. Yeah. Yep. All your anxieties and your spiraling is validated. I was a little Jew girl at sleepaway camp. Hard J? Hard J. And I tried out (laughs) for the summer musical play. Wait, can I call time out real quick? Yep. I just know this is like one of those Tyler Falbo stories. Tyler will tell you. You want to hear a funny story? And he'll tell you the saddest fucking thing you've ever heard in your life. And I know that whatever comes out of her mouth right now is going to be worse than I ate lunch on the toilet for a No, year. it's not. It's not. T- Tyler will be like, oh, man, what are you guys doing for the 4th of July? He'll be like, I don't know, going to the beach. He's like, oh, dude, back in oh, 4th of July was so fun. Kids used to uh, throw fireworks at my feet and they would burn. <laughs> and they would, they'd beat the shit out of me and call me gay. Pretty much a real story yeah. that he told. Yeah. You, you kind of Frankenstein two stories together. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's real. The saddest part is no one's listening to my truth right now. Right, no, I on. am, I am. You I tried just... out. You were at J Camp. You tried out for J. I was at J Camp. Musical. I wanted to. I, it was the play was Shrek. And I, Perfect. being 
the most self-obsessed person that I am wanted to be Fiona and I wouldn't take anything else. Got pause? And I didn't get the part. I became her understudy. And the woman wanted me to instead sing and told me that I was a better singer than the girl who got Fiona and said, you're going to sing Hallelujah instead in front of everyone. And that's going to be your role in this play. And I was like... As Fiona? No, just... Just singing it. I was just going to come out and sing it. Okay. And she made me feel better, better by telling me I was a better singer than her. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But I wished that she would get sick so I could be Fiona, even though I didn't memorize any of the lines. Mm-hmm. Anyway, play... I pra- So I didn't even know like the full lyrics to Hallelujah. So I practiced with the guitarist day in and day out. Mm-hmm. Every single day we practiced. Play rolls around. I get on the stage in front of hundreds of people. Hundreds of people. And I start singing Hallelujah with the little guitarist that I was practicing, practicing mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. I get through a couple verses and I look at the guitarist and he looks at me and he knows, he knows what's about to happen. He knows that I just forgot the rest of the fucking song. No. He stops playing the guitar. Okay. Pretty clutch. I stop. We look at each other. We look around. Some other girl playing donkey hops out onto the stage and she goes, everybody, hallelujah. We finish the verse. I run off the stage. I sprint back to my bunk and I dig into my bin where I was hiding my phone because we're not allowed to have our phones there. I call my mom. I have a panic attack. She doesn't care. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, that actually, that had a happy ending, though. Yeah. I thought it was going to bum me out. That girl who played Donkey's a queen. Saved your fucking freaking life. And afterwards, I had to, like, go see everybody that was in the play with me, and they all told me I did such a great job, but I knew they were lying. (coughs) They were. And I was so fucking embarrassed. I can't stop thinking about forgetting those lines every time I hear that fucking song. What grade were you in? Like fourth grade, f- fifth grade. Very formative years. Very. Yeah, that's that's pretty horrible. I think that's always the biggest fear is like you have to do the play in school that if you forget your lines, you have to kill yourself. I did the play in fifth grade. I was the scarecrow and in the Wizard of Oz. And as I get off stage, my friend's dad, I'm covered in scarecrow makeup. I have fucking hay all over me. I'm in full costume. And my friend, whose dad it was, was uh, Oz. So he's in full garb, too. And he goes, all the moms are congratulating us, giving us pictures and shit. And his friend's dad goes, you know that uh, most guys that do theater end up being gay. And no. I remember, I remember thinking, what? What? <laughs> what? So I'm driving home, full scarecrow makeup. <laughs> my dad's driving the truck. I thought you did great, buddy. Why the fuck? didn't you tell me that guys in plays are gay? (laughs) And he goes, what? What? My mom's like, who told you that? And I'm like, mister, told me that I'm going to grow up to be gay. (laughs) Why? And I'm in full makeup. This is gay? You didn't tell me this was gay? And my dad didn't know what to say. He's like, it's not. uh, It's not. You're good. What what are you talking about? And it was... One of the most Aww. harrowing afternoons of my life. I went from, I'm on top of the world, I'm the best guy in the yeah. play, to uh, I, I, I just found out I'm gay. Dude, I remember I hugged one of my buddies, really good friends in second grade, and this girl came up to me and was like, you know, there's a rumor you two are gay. So I stopped hanging out with him. He was like my best friend. That's so rude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's... Do you think people remember that I forgot the words to Hallelujah? Of course. Yeah. Every single one of them. They and when, once, when once they're was... feeling suicidal, I'm sure there's one guy that he's tying the rope and he remembers, at least my life isn't as bad as that Jew girl yeah. who forgot all those words. 
to a Christian song. My nickname was Emily or Binder in at camp. And I remember when the awkward silence, when I was like looking at the guitarist and we both stopped, the girls in my bunk just screamed out from the crowd. Yeah, Binder. And I was so fucking embarrassed. And it just rings in my ears every single day. You know what's crazy is everyone from that camp is still very good friends. And every time they get together and hang out. And none of them talk to me anymore. Yeah, they laugh about you. Why would they? You forgot the lyric. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done here. This reminds me of that video where the girl's doing the ventriloquism on stage. She goes, I'm pussying out. I'm pussying out. (laughs) I don't know if I see this one. Emily, can you please pull up the video? Yes. Also, thank you, Emily. It's very you, Emily. brave of you. I don't feel so alone. I have a story I want to share. Please do. Liam. Please do. Thanks. As you both know, I was uh, a Catholic boy growing up. Went to a Catholic school. Are you trying to one-up me or something? Stop it. You're really going to do that when I'm on the therapy couch? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone is a safe space. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It doesn't feel like it. I'm, I'm sorry. I take it back. Now, now my... No, no, no. I'm sorry. I support your you, all your religious beliefs. Sometimes I wish I had a turtle shell to curl up into. It's okay. Okay. Safe space. As you both know, I was a Catholic boy growing up, and um, my parents were Catholic, but like didn't go to church, and also I don't even know if they believed in God. One of those situations. And one day I was... Uh, I think it was summer or it was just the weekend during school. And I was in my room playing video games. And my mom comes in and she goes, hey, we're going to this this thing. It's a cool place. You can go meet other kids and like play games and stuff. And I was like, okay. Uh, All right. Ten minutes later, my brother comes into the room and starts talking to me. And that's how I know something's up. Because we didn't talk. And he, he's like fumbling around with stuff and he, on the desk. He's like, yes, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> mom uh, told me that you're going to that that camp, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, nice. Yeah, that was so f- fun. Yeah, it was really awesome. So you'll, you'll have fun there. And I was like, uh-oh, this is spooky. So they go, they drive me there and they drop me off. And there's like hundreds of other kids there and adults. And my parents leave and I'm very confused. And the uh, the host or whatever basically sits all the kids down and explains like, we're going to learn what sex is. <gasps> so instead of giving me the talk, my parents drop me off at this camp. And they basically run through all the like the biological stuff and how it, you know, how Catholicism treats it and all this junk. And it's, dude, it's it's like all day. And, uh, you know, they do like a question seminar or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I get in the car after it's all over. Parents are like, how was it? I was like, good. Conversation over. Never talk about it again. I get home and my parents go, <clears throat> um, just by the way, it's a, it's a, it's a two day camp. So you're going back no. tomorrow. And I was like, okay. I go back the next day. They ask us to meet with our groups and present about everything we learned, right? To each other. And so I think we, I think my group, we were talking about the Zygo, the sex cell. We have like a poster board or something. We get on stage to present. It's our turn. All the parents are there. No. They showed up. We all had to present what we learned to the parents. And then I went home and we never, ever talked about it. Oh. My stomach hurts. Yeah, religion is, uh, it can be a, a nasty. Nasty tool when you have fucking running shit. I thought you were gonna say they took you, sent you to a manor school. That would have been so much. That would have been so much better. I mean, the people that are running this thing are fucking idiots if they think that that was the best way to do it. Damn. Do you like? Do you actually feel like you learned a single thing from that? 
Yeah, I mean, I I basically got the talk that could have been done in 20 minutes, but it was a two-day camp over the course of 10 hours. Oh. I mean, it was very informative. It's It was a good thing, but how fucking weird is that? And I'm weird. sure you remember, like, every single detail of it, too. Cause no, I actually really don't. Like, I think I was so uncomfortable and, like, I was, like, bad at making friends. So I didn't, like, I didn't get along with anyone. I just kept to myself. And uh, it is horrible, dude. That's my that's my session. Thank you for sharing. Oh, oh. Sorry, I don't have much to say. That's okay. Okay, do you have a story in the meet and uh... save it for the page? Yeah, I'll do mine on the page. Thanks, gang. Thanks, gang. Thanks for those who stuck around. Thank you, man. Thanks for, for we'll have a better episode next time when I'm not sick as a dick. Thank you for listening, and guys, remember, please. If you liked the episode, leave a nice little rating. Uh, anything above three stars really helps. And if you really liked the episode, which bl- would blow my mind, you should go check out our Patreon. We do an extra episode every week. We got more characters. We do fan submissions. We look at video submissions. How fun is that? We just thought the Patreon would be a great way to interact with you guys more. Just give us that extra hour to pour through all the content we want to we wanna get through that we just can't in the first hour here. More bullying for Emily on there. There is, there is less bullying for Emily on there because we know we don't have to put on a little show. We get to just be honest with ourselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, em- right, Emily? Uh-huh. Say we don't bully you. You don't bully me. What is that? face. I don't know. Sorry. Okay, bye. Bye.